Hi, I'm back here with Kevin McGee. We've had a, a race in the wet. Well, we don't have a race, do right. we? No points, no prize money. <laughs> we had a ride in the wet, yeah. and um, we couldn't really tell too much. It was a little bit, the electronics obviously was came to the fore in the wet. But now uh, Kev's had a ride in the dry. He's had a ride on the R1M with the uh, electronic suspension. He's just got off that. And I just want to ask you, Kevin, how'd you go, mate? Mate, that was a lot better on, on the R1. Before in the dry, that was fantastic. But stepping up to the M on slicks, um, with the electronic suspension. I mean, it works beautifully from the slipper clutch to the quick shift. Uh, everything, the brakes are amazing. I was only using one finger because they've got plenty of power and very progressive. Um, I mean, it, it's just a beast. Up, up the back of the circuit here at Sydney Motorsport Park, it's quite tight. And up through there, it feels like a 600 compared to thousands I've ridden previously around the, the complete circuit. Um, yet it, it handles, you know, the ultra fast turn one like a very stable, steady bike and, and you're going quick. Mate, you've raced and won on a heap of Yamahas, including things like FZR thousands back in the day, um, you know, Bathurst, Conrod Strait. If you had this bike back then, what do you reckon? How'd you go in that? I'll be at the pub a lot earlier than all the rest of them, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing where the technology's come and just how it's derived, I guess, mainly through racing, but just normal development anyway. Um, the most amazing thing to me about this bike is, firstly, how much power it's got. Secondly, how linear the delivery is. That's, that's sure. a key point. So that makes the bike easy to control, right? Yeah, you don't have to be tap dancing on the gear lever to make sure you've got the thing in the right gear. Right. Um, you know, you can go through, if you can avoid a gear change, it's better because you can be a lot smoother. And this thing's got the grunt to pull it through that coil of gear. Right. Obviously you've got a quick shifter and you've got a seamless electronics package. I mean, how do you get on with those? combination did you, did you notice that at all did it benefit yeah. your riding yeah definitely the quick shifter makes it easy because you can just like and you get ready to shift you know like in the middle of a turn when you're coming out of the turn and you just pick that point um, and you can just bang it straight through without releasing the throttle and it's it's quick it's smooth and it doesn't it doesn't interrupt the ignition enough for it to unload the suspension and that's crucial because that changes all your geometries so the bike's planted in the corner, right. you're hard on the gas, and, and it just goes bang and, and straight through it into the next gear. So that's that's important yeah. that it doesn't unload the suspension, then right. that changes it, because then it goes that way and then comes back on. So it hard. keeps his attitude throughout yeah. the corner. Yeah. That's fantastic. Kevin, so can we see a comeback anytime soon for Kevin McGee? Absolutely never. I love riding bikes, that won't change, but um, when I retired, I retired, end of story. Uh, as much as... I don't know whether, is it your head that wants to do it and your heart tells you not to? Is it your heart that tells you to do it and your head goes, no, no, you idiot. Kevin McGee, thank you very much. Cheers, thanks, Sean. No worries.